Black Duck John. What? Far left. <laughs> Got it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Is that a Black Duck? Is that a Black Duck? Dude, that was uncalled for. Wake up, you big dummy. No, Dad, no. Bro, we got scouting to do. I was dreaming. Guess what part of the dream I was in? What? Uh, the part where we're unloading the truck and the Bigfoot comes out and gets us. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I just woke up Sam from a nap just so you guys can make fun of him. Please roast him. Like, my guy, we got scouting to do. You're looking like a big weenie right now on the couch. Hey, I'm just catching some Z's before these ducks are catching some lead. Lead? I'm, I'm just joking. It was a joke. Come on. Anyways, guys, it is time to do a little bit of scouting. I thought I'd start the intro here at my apartment in North Dakota uh, because you guys really like the scouting portion that I filmed last time I did something like this. So um, I thought, you know what? I'll bring the camera again. I'll bring Sam and we'll give you guys kind of a rundown on everything that we do when we scout. Uh, this video would not be possible without OnX. Uh, you guys can check it out in the link below. If you click that link, you can actually save 20% off a yearly membership. Don't mind Sam peeing in the background. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Actually, this is a funny story. This morning, Sam and I went hunting. This was day two of our North Dakota hunts together and it did not go well. All right, let's just say it did not go well. Tried filming a video, ended up not shooting a single thing. That's the reality of hunting. I mean, yikes, it was brutal. Yet we had like 40 mile an hour winds, which was not in our favor. We kind of knew it was an iffy feed and it just didn't work out the best as we would have thought it was gonna work out. So, you know, we could sit here and hang our heads and cry about it or we can get off the couch and go scouting to do it all over again. And that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready? I am. Are you, are you done being a couch potato? No, but my eyes are just a bag of weenies. I think you got pink eye from Luke Cornier. What up? Nothing, I'm resting. Why, because you have pink eye? No, double pink eye. What did the doctor say? Well, that I have double pink eye, but I knew that. Had to put a little segment of that big dumb idiot, Colin. He's up in this area, but he's ditched us the last two days to hunt other stuff that hasn't really panned out. And he got pink eye, apparently. Uh, but yeah, okay, now let's go scouting. Well guys, Sam and I finally made it to uh, a little field that I had a hunch about and it's loaded up. I filmed a little bit right there as you guys saw, but there's a lot of birds dumping in right now. Uh, it's really hard to see on the camera just because of the wind blowing around snow, um, just a lot of different things. But uh, there's a lot landed that you guys aren't even gonna be able to see that are already in this field. Uh, the roost is a little bit that way. And Sam and I are thinking this is a feed of probably about like 3,000 birds. Um, we're not super good at judging numbers. I don't want to be that guy that overjudges it, but I honestly think there's probably about 3,000 birds in this area. 
There's ducks in here, cacklers. And I'm looking at snow geese right now as well, which I'll show you. So you guys can clearly see all the snows over there. Those are ducks above them and uh, the snows feed right there. But these ducks, okay, you're gonna watch them right now. They're gonna go and they're gonna land right here, uh, kind of like on the side of this hill. And right where you guys are looking right now, it's loaded with birds. Um, I, I know you guys can't see them, but they're really right there and it's just absolutely packed full, chock full of birds. And uh, look, these guys right here, they're gonna go over there probably, let's watch them. Some of them are also laying on the other side of that hill, which these ones actually look like they're gonna do. Um, I have no clue how many are on that other side, but if I pull up the OnX app and turn it to the 3D feature, you can see what it looks like on the other side and kind of get a good idea on what the topography is over there and how steep it is and stuff like that because you can check out the elevation. So uh, we got kind of like, all the mallards are in one spot, which is good to see. And then all the snows are in their little corner. Another big plus is it's an unposted field. Guys, I have not hunted very many unposted fields and this is like one of the first ones that I've found that's been super, super loaded. Um, hold on, you guys gotta watch this. There's more birds dumping in. They keep coming over from this pond and it's absolutely ridiculous. More birds, they're going in on the other side. Look at them. They're gonna dump in on the other side, probably honestly because there's no more room for them right there. Like all those dark little dots right there are birds. There's a frick ton over there. So maybe that's why they're loading up on that other side. Grab some popcorn, sit back, relax, enjoy the scouting footage, and I'll see you guys in the morning if we hunt this. Still quite a few on the hill. Yeah, there's a bunch on the hill still, but look at all those in the air. Maybe those ones are done feeding and they're going back to the water. I could also, or they're gonna join the snow. Or they're gonna join the snows. A lot are heading back around. Oh my God. Did you look over here too? Oh man, they're still coming on this side. Yeah. Okay. They're landing right where I was telling you. Maybe those those ones are the ones hidden behind the hill, huh? Yeah, they are. it's definitely the ones behind the hill. They just keep funneling it. Yeah, they're putting down right there, kind of. Right kind of where I was talking about. Dude, they're all literally all dispersing right now. There is another truck over there across the road. Was old buddy that would just drove by in a Ford. I don't know, but this is our field. Get out of here. He just came over the hill and flipped us off. Well, it's because you're in a white Escalade. <laughs> For some reason. You're flexing in the Escalade, bro. All right, John, you have to be mean right away. I have double pink. What the eye. hell is up with that facial hair, boy? Double, dude, I have double pink eye. <laughs> That's messed up. The following day. What up, Banjo? Yo, yo, yo! Oh, wait, I'm not Bobby Guy Films. What's up? Oh, we're just sitting in a cornfield waiting to hunt. Are you going to the duck blind right now? Oh, yeah, I'm about 10 minutes out from the duck blind. Decoys are already set out. My dad and my cousin's are already there. So I just literally walk to the blind and I just sit down and 10 minutes before shooting time. I have it nice. Dang. I wish John would do that for me. Well, Banjo, uh, I wish you good luck. Yeah. And uh, Are you going to shoot out today? I, I think we will, probably. All righty, guys. It is the next morning. Just got done talking to Banjo. We got here early because it was a public, well, not really public land, but it's like kind of public. Anybody could hunt it because it wasn't posted. So I guess you would kind of call that public, you know? Yeah, 
it's yeah, open. Yeah, sort of. But yeah, we wanted to be here first just in case someone decided to show up and try to hunt this. Um, but, you know, we beat them. Anyways, made it here. Of course, Luke uh, probably slept in. He's not here right now. So it might just be me, Zach, and Sam hunting today. We're supposed to have Tanner and Luke, but I... I think they, uh, yeah, I think it was mug night last night or something. I don't know. But we made it to the cornfield that you guys saw scouting, and it looks pretty juicy. We ended up going on the arm just to the left of the hill. So you saw all those ducks were laying on that hill. We went to the left of it um, because they were hopping to that side too. We didn't want to set up on the hill edge because that just, that'd be a weird setup. I don't know how we would do that anyways. And uh, there, a lot of birds were coming over here later in the day. So that's what we're going to do. The bird should decoy. The only problem is it is going to be sunny. So those birds could be more inclined to stay on the roost longer today. So we're not really sure when they are going to get off the roost, but hopefully it will happen soon. We'll shoot our ducks, get out of here, and maybe hunt this again another day. But we got a little bit of brushing in to do and send out some decoys. You guys stay tuned. Let's get some ducks. Let's grind them, baby. <laughs> Well, that's a good intro. Uh, we just got set up and literally some geese started flying right away. <clears throat> and they did it okay. I think the boys got two or three down. So that ain't bad. We'll take them like that. I'll show you the spread here. Not the too fancy. We got a family group behind us right there. And then basically just like a line or like a U mixed with big owls, uh, mallards, and geese. And then we got some full bodies mixed in as well. Uh, we got three spinners, kind of just in the kill hole pretty much. That side's more full bodies. We got the lucky snow goose right there that Zach brought. That thing looks pretty good. And then, like I said, more big owl mallards mixed in, kind of in the kill hole. This is our hide. It actually looks super good. Uh, this stuff is a lot taller than any of the stuff that we've been hunting today, so we love that. And then there's another family group back there. Oh, they're big and heavy, old son. But that's the way to start the morning. I'm gonna get in the blind and we'll see what happens. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> No! <laughs> what happened to your gun, bud? It, I don't know, the hypersonics are just too big! <laughs> and then I finally got it loaded back and luckily just floated there and two specks down, baby. Yeah, so we had those honkers coming. Yeah. Zach shot like two, I think, or yep, maybe three, I don't know. Sam got one. And those two specks circled for like three or, three yeah. or four times and then just put down like right yeah. there, huh? Sheesh, old son. Heck yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about right there, eh? Let me see him. <laughs> oh yeah. Look how big this honker is. The honker is a daddy. It's heavy. shot that one good shot <laughs> that was all Zach. oh we just got done picking up those specks and geese and then 
all of a sudden some ducks started flying so we got like three to come in uh pretty good we waited for them to swing a couple times sam could took a closer shot right here but since i'm holding the camera we're going to zach to shoot so we wait till they center it up and i believe we got two drake Millardos down oh yeah z <laughs> not a bad green head no curls yet but kind of small honestly oh Yeah, no curls. Dang, no bands either. No, nope. unfortunately. Dang Well, here's Zach's other Drake Mallard that he poked. Absolute beautiful bird. Look at that, he's got some ice on him from the water. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. Sheesh. Big, yeah. Big lesser guy. Huge lesser guy. I love these little guys. Aren't they cute? They, Look at the head on them. Oh, yeah, they're super good. So I missed some action when I was gone, eh? You did. Some lessers came over. And Zach and I shot three of them. And uh, we got three of these little cuties out on the ground now. So it is midday. We're going to be waiting for some ducks. John actually went and drove around, like I said earlier, and looked at the roost. And they're all sitting on the water, pretty comfy. I'll let John explain that, though. So I drove around, went to the roost. Yeah, a lot of the ducks are still on there. A lot of lessers, which we didn't see yesterday, were on there as well. But they look like they're big chilling. We don't think they're gonna fly until like, honestly, probably like three or four. Um, they may only be feeding once a day since it's so cold out. But I also continued to drive south two miles and there's another uh, big body of water that had a lot of birds on it. So those birds could also be our birds. We could have birds coming from multiple angles uh, later today. But the plan is right now, Zach just left. He has a swan tag and he wants to go try to shoot a swan real quick. So he's gonna go do that and then he's gonna come back if he gets that done and hunt tonight with us and then perhaps maybe i'll get luke here and tanner here because they were supposed to be here this morning but they're big dumb idiots that didn't show up so you guys stay tuned it's just hunting three hours later hey guys uh doofus one and doofus two here um we're taking a fat nap and uh we just look over and there's birds dumping into the spread it's about 12 30 we really didn't think they're gonna fly till like three um yeah, definitely a big rip. We're gonna go sit in the blinds now and see what happens. I mean, there's a lot of birds, so I'm not too worried, but well, that's just good. funny. So of course, when we were napping, we were dumping in here, like, I don't know, how many do you think we're in here, 200? Probably. Around 200. There should be more though. Yeah. All right, you guys stay tuned. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> She's going. <laughs> Take him. I can't see any. All right, guys, like, I'm so sorry. Just a freaking mess. Um, yeah, they all start flying. Oh, I got a duck right here. Hold up. All right, there's my first green head of the day. And I have one more that I shot. I currently have two. Same as zero. His gun malfunctioned. All chaos broke loose. Stay tuned. Three hours later. Well, hey guys, just another little update. Um, after that random flurry of ducks at about noon 30, Sam and I has been sitting out here and sleeping. Nothing has happened. Absolutely nothing. Then we looked up and we saw literally probably half of our, our roost that we thought was over there. They came from actually that, that other roost I was talking about, that one that was two miles away. They all came over here. They flew up above us, like literally like two miles above us. And then they just dumped in to the roost right over there. So what we're thinking was um, half the roost kind of split up at night. And one of them, a lot of them went down south two miles over that way. They hop over to this water and then hopefully they're all going to start trickling over as the night goes on. But I would love to go over there and look at that right now because it has to be absolutely chocked full of birds. But that's, that's a good sign for Sam and I. All the birds are over there right now. It's only three something and we still got some shooting light left. You guys stay tuned. Pray for me and Sam. We got to shoot straight because it, it, it could get absolutely gnarly. <laughs> oh god dude oh my god sam shoot green <laughs> 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 
Doubled up, baby, with green. Let's go. Oh, that was freaking sick, boys. Oh, my God. It's been a gr... Oh, God. Oh, my God. There's so much more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, that gun. Okay, well, hopefully my gun doesn't get much. Dude, that was sick, Sam. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> Take him! Damn, bro, I can't shoot. Alright, well, I'm limited. Let's go! I'm done, boys. I'm done. They are. Oh my god. This is freaking gnarly, dude. Let's go. Woo hoo hoo! Oh god, bro. Well, there's my limited all green heads. Yes. Oh my god, so much more, Sam. Right here. Right here. Sam, put this on here real quick. Is it going? Yeah. Well, boys, I have been shooting absolutely terrible. I don't know what happened. It took me a while. I couldn't find a green head, and I picked out a widgeon, and I just cannot hit it. <laughs> Look at these ones from the straight ahead, too. I know. Way up high. What the heck? Boys, this is absolutely insane. They all finally started flying. I shot my limit really quick. Um, I shot two this morning or earlier this afternoon. And then shot my three right there. Sam has, I don't know, a couple more to go. Oh my God. Those groups are just absolutely doing it. The GoPro footage, the big camera footage, absolutely nutty. Oh my God. Let's go find the spur that Sam just shot. <laughs> GoPro gun? Yep. <laughs> nice, nice. Nice. Oh my god, Sam. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, what's going on? <laughs>
Black Duck John. What? Far left. <laughs> Got it. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Is that a black duck? Is that a black duck? What is that? What? What just happened? Say, explain what just happened, Dude. bro. Mallards everywhere. They were just circling. I was one away from my limit, and I was literally just watching them. I was just like, okay, let's just try and land a couple for good footage and let them work, because there's so many birds around. And I just saw this black breasted duck. And I was like, dude, John, what is that, bro? And he's like, dude, I think that's a black duck. Look at this thing. Let's go, this, dude! Let's freaking go! It's such a beautiful bird, bro. Oh my god! I've never seen anything like it, dude. This thing is so sick. You're mounting that. Oh, 100 percent. I have bro. to. You're mounting dude, that, dude. John, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude! Okay, absolutely insanity just happened, but we have more ducks, and we're just gonna film right now. Enjoy. Oh my god, duck NATO boys. Drop a, drop a thumbs up for this video right now. Insane. I'm gonna turn up on Mojo. Okay. Oh my god, Sam. Oh my god, Sam. Bruh, what? Oh my god, dude. Luke, you should have came out. Post is on Monday. <laughs> Bro, what's going on? Okay, this is insane, Sam. Look at that cloud, Sam. <laughs> Literally, our hole's not big enough, Sam, for them to land in. They just they don't know what to do. No. But they want in here so bad. <laughs> Mm. 
Did you actually? Yeah, there's a duck just pooped on me. <laughs> we'll, we'll take him like that. Brett, is this a movie? This is what people dream of. Literally, Sam. <laughs> Boys, I'm not gonna lie right now, like, I try to keep this channel PG, you know, but part of my language, my pants are a little bit tight right now. Or just keep coming. My, my, my pants are tight. I just, oh my, oh dude. Yes, freaking sir. Oh my god, check it out boys and girls. There's our little two man of green heads. Well, this is nine. And then the oh, beauty. What? Do you see the purple on the oh, blue, whatever it is? That so is pretty. perfect mounting condition, bro. That is not shot up at all. Beautiful bird. I've never seen one of these in person before. This is my first time seeing one in person. I've only seen pictures of them. That's going on the wall, baby. Yes, sir. Hey guys, uh, you guys can probably go to another field. Sam and I are gonna clean up now. Okay, yup, see you guys, see ya. Just had the best hunt of my life, okay? Absolutely unreal. You guys saw the true grind of today's video. Uh, you know, all the boys backed out, just me and Sam. We could have shot so many more ducks. Did you guys see those tornadoes? Oh my God, landing right in front of us. Drop comment down below. Just congratulate Sam, congratulate me, and please hit the thumbs up button for this video because that was so epic and uh these ducks just keep flying everywhere so we're gonna get picked up here i'll give you our closing thoughts back at the apartment unreal day the next day well guys it is the next day i just got done cleaning all of those ducks that we shot yesterday and uh you know actually a little announcement here if you guys want to see that type of stuff the cleaning process or any type of things that I can't post on this YouTube channel because YouTube is soft. Sam and I are super excited to announce that we're both gonna be posting on Uncut. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a website or an app that the Guggen Squad created for content creators like myself or other hunters that wanna show the realness of the sport and don't have to worry about censoring things like blood, guts, etc. So if you guys want to check out what myself, Lojo, Flair, Lunkers, what we all have going on over there, you guys can check out the link below. I'm not 100% sure if we've posted something on there yet, but uh, within the next few days, there should be kind of a, a pilot vlog that I just got done filming. And again, guys, like it does cost a little bit of money, but it's not more expensive than, you know, your mom's Starbucks. I think that's how Flair was comparing it to. So it would mean a lot to me, Sam, and the rest of the homies out there if you guys went over there and signed up and became a member. As far as yesterday's hunt went, it went absolutely amazing i really wish my friends would have been there because we could have really shot them up but it did make it kind of special that it was just sam and myself and if you guys were wondering sam left right away as soon as we got back uh into fargo he headed back to south dakota because he wanted to mount that bird so bad and he wanted to preserve it super well so he's taking it down to the taxidermist and I am also gonna mount one of those mallards that I shot. Uh, there was one that was like really, really fat, had a big neck and a big old Canadian head. It was definitely from an up north bird. And I just thought, you know, I could probably shoot something better, but I wanna remember this day because it was special to me and Sam. So I'm gonna mount a bird too, because every time I look at that bird, I'm gonna remember this hunt. I'm not the biggest duck expert, but I'm pretty sure a black duck is really rare. I mean, I've only heard of a black duck one other time. I only know one other person that shot one. And also Zach has been hunting for like 20 years or something like that. And he was telling me he's only heard of one guy shooting one and he's never seen one in his gosh darn life. So obviously it's a, it's a rare bird. And I wanna hear what you guys think about it. Drop all of the information you know about that duck down in the comments because I wanna learn more about them. Uh, I've heard of them, 
but haven't really seen them. In this area, it's not really common. I believe more east, it's a little bit more common, but still pretty rare. But that is where we're gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day and watching it. And you know, let me know what you thought of the footage. I thought this hunt and this footage was the best of this year so far. Absolutely crazy with all those spins and then getting that black duck was the icing on top of the cake. Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.